Today I'd like to speak about uh, a topic that just came to mind as I was reading uh, from one of this guy's pieces of work. Um, and yeah, boy, he was sure a piece of work. Uh, um, Ed Bernays, Edward Bernays. He's kind of the, the father of propaganda. And uh, I'm reading a book that I actually recommend this. It's a, it's a pretty good one. I, I'd say it's, it, it includes most of the good elements from all the little bits and pieces I've read over the years. And it's all in one neat book. Uh, the Edward Bernays Reader, From Propaganda to the Engineering of Consent. And so I'm reading it, and I'm reading from a, uh, a, a part of his 1928, I believe it was, book, Propaganda. And it's the portion under there that he talks about new propaganda. And there's a paragraph that ends with uh, a sentence that just really made me think about values. Here's the sentence. Propaganda became vicious and reprehensive only when its authors consciously and deliberately disseminate what they know to be lies or when they aim at effects which they know to be prejudicial to the common good. So I read that sentence and I realized, huh, that's a pretty darn obvious thing uh, about what Bernays' values are. He values truth. And he values common good. And when he wrote this sentence, he just kind of took that as a, a foregone conclusion but the careful reader looks at the bias in what they are hearing or reading or whatever they're consuming. Look at the bias in there. So he says, you know, it's only bad if you're saying what you know to be a lie. Well, what about the people who value dishonesty, who value lies? I'm not one of them. I happen to agree with him here that, that lies are bad. But that's definitely a subjective value choice. It's a choice he made, and I happen to agree with him on that. And then a little later in the sentence, he says, prejudicial to the common good. And I think he might have actually used the word prejudicial wrong, because um, things can be... Prejudicial is also a... Uh, it's not a, a good or a bad thing. It's a description of a thing. And so I don't really place a value judgment on the word prejudicial. But I think he meant it in this context that the common good, uh, prejudicial would mean against the common good. Well, for me, I do not see the common good as being the, the highest value. That's not, not a sentence I would have chosen to, uh, to include common good in. If I was listing things that were true, uh, or not that were true, that were, were good, in my opinion, I would have probably also said things that are true, but I would not have said common good. I would have said individual rights or you know something like that or individual good. Um, but he cares more about the collective, so he said collective good. So it's neither here nor there, and maybe he's right, maybe I'm right, maybe it's somewhere in between, but my bigger point is really be careful as you listen to me and other people chit-chatting, eh, watch for those values that we insert in there, our biases, and realize that they might or might not be correct, and that you probably have your own that are better than mine or, or better than Bernays, and... Yeah, just worth thinking about, right?